How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video here on the channel and in today's video I've got Matt here. He came over and he's going to help me out. We're going to continue on the mini project for the homemade go-kart here on mounting our active aero style wing. So if you guys uh, saw the past two or three videos, can't remember if it's two or three, we started building this uh, mount to hold this uh, wing on the back of the go-kart, like a spoiler. And I, so I bought the spoiler on Amazon and uh, for like 60 bucks, it's actually for like a Mini Cooper or something, but it works well with the go-kart in terms of the sizing. So this video, we're gonna go ahead and try and mount the wing onto the actual mount and then go from there. All right, so first order of business was put the go-kart up on the jack stand so we can get underneath, undo the four nuts at the back that hold the bearings on, and then we'll mount the mount, the mount on the back of the go-kart. Power tools always work better. Where do you want to be to start? Um, let's do the, the most forward ones. All right, so the mount has been mounted. So we got all four nuts nice and tight. So now we're gonna go ahead and drill out the uh, mount here and get the wing actually on the go-kart. All right, everyone, so we've got the first mock-up of actually having the wing on the, the go-kart. Now it looks a little funky right now because it doesn't have the side winglets on it. Um, and the height at which the wing sits at may or may not be what we the end result is because we have these brackets here that we're gonna have to modify a little bit that the wing mounts to and those are gonna prop that up probably another I'd say at least six inches so we may end up uh, cutting the mount here cutting it there and then dropping it down and re-welding it uh, which isn't a huge deal it's pretty simple to do that so we're gonna try and modify these drill the holes out so that they fit on this half half inch threaded rod and then once we do that we'll actually mount the wing and see what the height is like with those things which is going to be crazy high and i have a feeling it's going to look kind of funky but we'll, we'll modify it to make it look right we also have to consider um, since we have the new header sitting over there this muffler is going to come off and then the header is actually going to stick right out through the middle here pretty much so we got to make sure that there's clearance for that as well and clearance for when the wing tilts forward when you brake Okay, so we drilled our pilot hole through this one and the other bracket when we had them clamped together so we know they're in the relatively same position. Now I just want to make sure that the hole is actually straight through. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use the drill press and just continue on the hole and then size up um, through a few bit sizes.
All right, so we finally were able to get this drilled out with this bit. And so we got the brackets. We got some extra half inch threaded rod I had laying around. So now we got the brackets on. So now we're gonna go ahead and actually mount the wing to this. Obviously these are just gonna tilt forward. Um, so we're gonna have to design some sort of like spring system to hold these in this position so that when they tilt down, the spring will bring it back to a level. So yeah, so let's go ahead and bolt the wing on the back. Hey, it looks so high. Oh, you know, it's crazy. So this is the final result of getting the wing mounted on the, the go-kart here. It is crazy high right now, so we gotta do some modifications. Um, we're gonna bring the mount down quite a bit probably. And then once, what we gotta actually figure out first is how much clearance we have when we put the new J-pipe header on. So we're gonna do that and then we'll figure out how much we can lower this thing down so it doesn't look so insane. So we'll catch up with you guys in a bit after we figure out that clearance. All right, so we got them up. That was the old muffler. <laughs> So we got the new header on with the muffler so you can kind of see what kind of clearance we have for bringing this thing down. And we don't have a whole lot, I'd say maybe three, four inches. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and play around with it. We'll throw on the spoiler one more time and then uh, we'll just have to think about it and think about what we want to do in terms of lowering this down. Cause it is a little bit high for my liking, like way too high. So <laughs> I want to lower it down some way. So if you guys have any thoughts of how we can lower this mount down without getting in the way of the header, uh, please feel free to let me know. I guess what we could do is maybe try and make a cutout for it and then drop it. I don't know, no, that wouldn't work. So yeah, if you guys have any ideas on what we could do to lower that so it doesn't get in the way of the header, let me know, but we're gonna go ahead and throw this thing on just to get a final look on what it looks like with the new wing on. Alright guys, so this is our current situation. The wing is a lot higher than what we, um, how, how we want it in the end game. And partially the reason is, is because we built this mount before we bought the wing, so we couldn't design those two in parallel. Um, this, the wing came after, so that's kind of why we're having this dilemma here. So we're trying to think of a way that we can lower this down, still have it be functional and work well, and then have all the clearance it needs to clear the engine on the back here. So if you guys have any ideas on what we could do to lower it down, feel free to comment below. This is kind of like what it looks like, the final, uh, what we're ending with. And the wing came with these winglets on the side that basically mount like that. We just haven't put those on yet. They're in the box there. So, so yeah, so that's where we came with today. Got the new header on, got the wing mounted, modified the brackets. So we'll just see how it goes from here. And then, uh, then yeah. So thank you all very much for watching um, today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching us kind of modify the, uh, the wing there to get it mountable on the go-kart. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments about the go-kart build, please feel free to leave them below and I'm always happy to answer your questions. Huge thanks to Matt, as always, for coming over and helping out. And uh, thanks again, guys. Make sure you subscribe for more go-kart videos to come. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Aside, there goes a side, there goes a side.